Hi guys, it is 11.25. Um, I'm about to head over to our home and farm play place to meet with this one lady because she's buying a purse for my fancy's mom. I'm just selling it and I get to keep some money for it. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna head over there. I meet her at 11.45, but it's like a five minute drive, but I like to get there early so I can pick the parking spot so I'm not looking all over the place for people I'd rather than looking for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna have my windows down. That's why I'm not vlogging and driving because it's 61 degrees outside. It feels really good though, but it's really windy. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hi guys. It is 1.44. I'm gonna start driving, but anyway. I showed up to the place like 10 minutes early, which is my fault, whatever, and um, one, not one, 11.45 rolled around, lady never showed up. Mind you, I messaged her when I first got there telling her I was here, I was early, so whatever, and um, showed up my message but never replied back. And then I messaged her again, because it was about like two minutes from the time we were supposed to meet. And, um, no, no, I'm going to go a little bit. And I asked her how far out was she, she never replied back. Time to meet, she wasn't there. So I waited an extra ten minutes, never showed up, so I texted her. It's like, I'm leaving, I have somewhere else to be before I have to go into work. So... As soon as I send it, she opens the messages. I'm like, are you kidding me? I haven't heard from her anyway, so. When I get to work, I'm gonna message her. See if she wants to meet tonight. But, anyway, I had uh, SpaghettiOs for lunch. And yeah, so I'll just talk to you guys later. Hi guys, it is 10.08, just got off work, um, actually I've been off for a few minutes, I was just talking to some co-workers about a goodbye party for one of our uh, co-workers because she's leaving on Sunday, so um, <clears throat> yeah sorry, it is 59 degrees outside and yeah, it's a little chilly but it feels good. But plans are to go to the car wash so he can sweep or something. I think that's what he said. I don't know. Because he tried to do it earlier, but the people that was over by the vacuum area, which is where he needed to sweep, um, they were just like, just standing there talking. They were there before he even got there is what he told me, and they were still there when he left. Because they were just standing there talking, not even cleaning their cars. So that means he couldn't finish his job, so he has to go back tonight, so we're going to do that, and then I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. I had Subway for dinner. He surprised me with that. He texted me, can you take first lunch shift? I'm like, yeah, why? He's like, because I got a surprise for dinner. I'm like, what is it? Like, I don't like surprises. He's like, well, it's a surprise. I'm not going to tell you. I'm like... Are you kidding me? Just, just tell me what it is. He's like, you'll find out on your lunch break. Just take first lunch. So I gotta get a drink. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to argue him. Got on my lunch break and he's like, close your eyes, close your eyes. I'll hand it to you. Just close your eyes. I'm like, what the heck? So I close my eyes and he's like, put your hands out. So I do. And he's like, okay, you can open them open the like it was in a Tupperware container so I wouldn't be able to tell what it was and I was like it's Subway he's like yeah I hope it's correct because I told mom she wrote it down well I wrote it down for mom and she had to rewrite it so I hope she got it correct I was like well it looks correct and it tastes correct so I'm guessing it's correct so I had Subway for dinner I don't even know if I told you guys what I had for lunch I had SpaghettiOs Yeah, I don't think I updated you guys. Um, that lady never showed up for the purse. Well, apparently she was there, but long story short. 
What did I tell you? Yeah, I did tell you guys all this. I'm not going to repeat myself. But long story short, I had texted her when I got here at work, told her I could meet her tonight when I got off. And she's like, no, that time won't work because I live this many minutes outside of town, so I'm not going to drive back in the dark. I'm like, okay, whatever, that's fine. I'll just meet you tomorrow in town. Same location, just at 145 instead of 1145. And um, she's like, yeah, that's fine. And I don't know if I told you guys this, but apparently she was there. But she was in a car, but she didn't even tell me that. She just told me she was in this truck. And it's like, well, if I were down there, I would have just stayed around and waited for you. But um, after I tell her tomorrow at this time, at this location, she's like, yeah, and I'll make sure I tell you what vehicle I'm in so you don't leave. It's like, girl, you better be lucky I want the $10. That's the only way I'm putting up with you. <laughs> like, I'm selling it for his mom, but she told me and my fiance that we could sell it and split it, but he's going to let me keep the whole $10. Excuse me. So, he's probably waiting on me, so I better get going, but I don't know what the plans are. <laughs> I'm off for three days, but I did tell my co-workers a while ago, if they needed me to come in tomorrow, because I need some overtime. So, yeah. I will see you guys next in the next clip. Hey guys. It is, let me see if I can get it. It's really stupid. It's like one... 47 and I just got home um, I opened the bathroom again so I can wash my face and whatnot but guys look I got this little cute little thank you card in the mail today um because I like to support other people that have like businesses like it works and Texas and unique and everybody like that so I like to try and help out to like help host a party or whatever to get more people for them I got something on my shirt I don't know what it is anyway so this girl she sells origami owl jewelry I think that's what it's called I might be butchering it but I just said I was going to host an online party for her. Well, she's hosting it, but it's just under my name. So, like, all my friends on Facebook or whatever. So, I got this in the mail. It says, thank you. And then, on the inside, sorry, I'm trying to open it. Um, it says, thank you for hosting an online party with me. It's probably showing up backwards, but anyway. Then she gave me this cute little, I guess like a charm. I don't know. Anyway, it's sterling silver. And it says, I don't know if this is going to pick up. I'm going to try to flip the screen around. Hold on. Here you go. It says, be your selfie. It's so cute. And it says, just be yourself or you know, one else is taken. It's sterling silver. So I just thought that was really sweet of her. I just got it in the mail today. So I took a picture of it so I can send her until I got it. Ignore my pimple. But it's so cute. But yeah. All I did when I got off was this is shampoo right here. If you see that. these two spots for shampoo because I was washing my hair and I had the shampoo was really runny so when I, when I went to go put on my head it like dripped down like right here in my eye so I went like that and it was like a whole bunch of shampoo so yeah but anyway we watched the Great British Baking Show with me he took a shower I washed my hair 
um, went to McDonald's because he was hungry still, and then we went to the gas station to get his mom's soda. And then, yeah, now we're here. So I'm gonna wash my face, edit the vlog, and upload it for you guys. So, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.